Now this last cryptogram is pretty tough. Now I think the way that I managed to crack this one was by guessing that this is will be. Because I can't think of any other pretty common four letter words where the last two letters are exactly the same. And if that's a will, that means it has to be will be, right? And so it looks like that works so far. And I'm guessing that means this has to be shall be. And that basically just cracks the entire puzzle. Seven ships set sail. Seven pieces shall open the seal. This must be and. I have not sure what that means. Crew with hiding a single item. Its location known only to them and to me. Securing the treasure itself. I write in English so no one will know how to find it. Uh huh. And is that completely finished? I think that might be it. These sections are still encoded in a very weird way. Maybe I should keep my eyes peeled for something that will help me break the code. Now, as Nancy is saying, there are some sections that are still in code, like here and there. You're not going to be able to break the code unless you find another buried treasure, which is right here, the final resting place of the Kari Dod, one nautical mile due southeast of the island, an iron chest buried within a raging sea. All right, so that means we get to go sailing. Sailing, sailing over the deep blue sea. Da 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 pirate's life for me. You don't have to go sailing. You can do other things, like explore the island. But I'm going to go sailing, for reasons which I will explain shortly. The way you sail is just click in the direction that you want to sail in. El Toro's journal says to go southeast, but you'll notice we're not sailing very well because the wind is going to the northwest. The sailing manual tells you about this right here. It says you can swoop around in big circles in order to try to catch the wind and pick up speed, and that will help you get to your destination faster. And here's our destination. This is where the buried treasure is. Right near where the ship, uh, you know, crashed and sank to the bottom of the sea. But Nancy can't pick up the buried treasure because she doesn't know where it is. So that's why you have to come here. Nancy learns that she needs to get a metal detector before she can find the buried treasure. Now, there's a person on the island who has a metal detector that Nancy can use. And I'm going to meet that person now. Oh, hold on a second. What was that? Aha, it's a secret message in a bottle. You're going to find a bunch of them over the seas in this game. Collect them all and you might get a hidden Easter egg. I'll do that later on in the video walkthrough, but for now, I'm going to go meet the person who has a metal detector. The person with the metal detector, he is at Songray Beach. That's the place where Bess was kidnapped. Remember, she went to see the sunset on Songray Beach and then she was kidnapped? So we can ask this person about uh, Bess being kidnapped, and we can ask about the metal detector. There's a map of the island um, right near George, in case I didn't show you. But anyway, here's Songray Beach, and that looks like Bess's golf cart. Bess? 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 Yeah, are you here, Bess? So this is why Nancy is asking about Bess. Maybe Bess is here. 
Wait a minute, what's this? Wow! Huh? That looked like Bess's... That looked like her sandal. Who are you? Um, my name's Nancy Drew. What are you doing here? I'm looking for someone. A friend, Bess Marvin. She disappeared last night. There is no Bess Marvin here. Look, do you think you can let me down? It'd be a whole lot easier to talk if the blood weren't rushing to my head. Yeah, everything is upside down. Ow! Sorry. But that's her shoe, and the golf cart she was driving. Are you sure you didn't see the people who kidnapped my friend? I was fishing last night, far down the beach. I see no kidnappers. I hear no kidnappers. But you were at the scene of the crime. You had to see something, right? Didn't you look around after you saw a golf cart? I do not see this cart until just now. What did you say your name was again? My name is Johnny Roll. I am from Kingston, Jamaica. I have come here to fish and to be alone. When I'm tired of fishing and being alone on this island, I will go to another. That is my story. There is no more to say. Really? How come you're so intent on being alone? That is my business. Why do you ask all these questions? Because Nancy Drew is a detective. And you are now at the top of my suspect list, Johnny. True, there's nobody else on the suspect list, but you're still at the top! I'm just nosy. I come here because I do not like nosy people, and I am not alone on this island. There are monkeys. They like to steal things. What they cannot steal, they destroy. One day I find them in my boat, tearing up whatever they can. As I am chasing them away, one fights me. These monkeys are dangerous. They have ruined the motor of my boat. I cannot go anywhere until it is fixed. That is why I set this snare to catch them before they do more damage. There are other people on the island as well. What? There? Where are they? Who are they? Tell me everything you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only see them sometimes when I am fishing. Always from a distance, moving through the trees. Three, maybe four men. They do not bother me, I do not bother them. But if this changes, as you saw, I am ready for them. What about a phone or a two-way radio? Do you have one? I have none of these things. Aww. Now, I can tell you nothing more, nor can I help you. I'll go, but I'll be back. You can pretty much count on it. Do as you like. Now the first thing I'm going to do after talking to Johnny is talk to Johnny. You are fortunate that I am a patient man. So all you do here is fish? Sometimes at low tide I walk the beach with a metal detector, searching for that which the sea has left behind. Oh, a metal detector, huh? We need one of those. Ever find anything valuable? One day I find this. I do not know what it is. Actually, it looks vaguely familiar, but I can't quite place it. I think it huh. is very rare. And rare things are very valuable. That's a strange looking thing. I'm not sure what it is. Would it be okay if I borrowed your metal detector? No, my boat and my metal detector, they are my only true possessions. And unlike my boat, my metal detector is not broken. I give it to no one. Please, Mr. Roll, it's very important. My friend's life may depend on it. Yeah. I break it, I promise. Come on, Johnny. If you ask me a question, I give you my answer. Now you may leave. Ooh. No, not without that metal detector. I'm afraid I'm just going to have to bug you until you give it to me. Sorry. Here is what I will do. I will give you the metal detector. But first, you must give me the compass which the monkey with the notched ear stole from my boat. Do you agree? You've got a deal. I'll be back with that compass in no time. I hope. Okay. Do you have my compass? No, but I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. Would you by any chance have a 9 volt battery that I can have? I do, but if you want it, you must iron it. While fishing from my boat, I lost a beacon which I must have to navigate. I'm pretty sure it became snagged on some rocks as I mm -hmm. passed by and was pulled off. By the time I realized it was missing, the monkeys had damaged my boat and I could not go back out. And so you must retrieve it for me. Sail directly northwest from this beach until you see the two sharp rocks. 
If you sail between them, you are sure to find my beacon. I can do that. Then the battery will soon be yours. Okay, thanks, Johnny. Well, no thanks. You didn't help us find Bess, and then you just gave us a couple of chores to do. Hmm. Very suspicious, Mr. Johnny. Very suspicious. <laughs>